Hello everybody and welcome back. We are now entering part two for the Druid class of Dungeons and Dragons Online Let's Play. Uh, picking up right where I logged off last time. So with that, let's go ahead and make our way over to Randall, I guess. Now, where did you come from? I guess it doesn't matter. I am Randall the Traveler. This is Corthos Village and it's going through hard times. What hard times you say? Why don't you have a look around the village and find out yourself? Tutorial how to bind your character. Uh, okay, if you fall in battle, you return to the last place you bound your spirit at. Characters who can bind your spirit have the spirit binder title beneath their names. Every tavern has a spirit binder inside. Find the spirit binder inside the West Crest Tavern and ask him to bind you. I'll go look for them. Okay, so the West Crest Tavern. Uh, are you the West Crest Tavern? This is the, no. I'll come back. Close window. I don't know. She has something over her head. So it's like so hard to see the, um, the map here. Okay. There's a tavern icon or like a bar icon over here. What wave crest tavern, not West crest. Here we go. Spirit binder. Brother Malden. Welcome to Corthos or what's what's left of it. I'm Brother Malden. I used to preach, but these days few will listen. Is there something you need? If I fall in battle, can you bring me back? Yes, even the darkest of times, the struggle must go on. I can bring you back for the great beyond. If your work here is not done, you want me to resurrect you here at the wave crest from now on? Yes. If you're lost in battle, you will now be resurrected at this location. Okay. Very good. For Kaja at the... Oh, uh, okay. That's the person outside. So I think that's our, our quest log. I'm not 100% sure, but I haven't fully gone through to look at it. I did increase the uh, resolution, so that way we have a little bit of a bigger... Um, UI now so or actually I decrease the resolution and put the game into full screen mode instead of windowed so that way the UI would get bigger um, but yeah finding quests if you look at uh, look in your map the yellow chalice icon are people who have work for you when you approach the one you'll see a glowing chalice floated over the NPC's non-player head you regain hit points and spell points faster inside a tavern. Most town areas have taverns. They appear on the map in the green mug icon. Okay, cool. All right, Kaja, what you got here? I swear to Siberia, there's unholy wandering coming from a Hayton's family crypt. Uh, shouldn't you talk to Hayton about this? I'll check out the crypt for you. Oh no, where'd it go? Oh no, I just got rid of it. How do I see my quest again? Uh, character journal L. Rack. Maybe if I complete it, it'll come back. Or will it? Let's see. You. That's how you create a guild. Grouping friends who. Who? Z is examine people. Control F. What are we getting for frame rate? Frame rate. 200. Okay, good. All right, let's go in the family crypt. Choose your difficulty setting, then press OK to enter the dungeon. Uh, I guess we'll go normal, right? Aten family crypt. 
For generations, the Hatons protected. Okay. Coming from Escape deep in the, the crypt. crypt, you hear the strange and unsettling echoes that Kaya spoke of. And by the passage leading in, a grim faced man glares at you. I haven't seen you before. You're new to Corthros? Corthos? We should go back to the village. This crypt is falling apart. You could trip on rubble and hurt yourself. The villagers are talking about some strange noises down here, and I'm going to investigate. Let me pass. Fine, don't come crying back to me after your trip in the dark and break your neck. Oh boy. Strange. Sarcophagi line the walls, but they're broken open and empty. Let's search. Where did the bodies go? Do a search. Uh, it definitely you notice seems something like... strange about the wall to the west. If you search the wall, you may discover more. This wall? I moved this to the center, but maybe that should maybe that's not the best place. That's like your target, um, or whoever you're looking at. Wait, it was this wall, right? You notice something strange about the wall to the west. If you search the wall, you may discover more. How close do I have to be? That's my search ability. Where's my spot ability then? Come on now. Uh, see, here we go. Skills. Spot. Where's my spot ability? Spot. There it is. Oh, I did spot it. Wait, is that a passive then? Allows you to sense the presence of nearby things. Always check on. Uh, okay. Well, I keep searching. An activate allows you to attempt to find exact location. Let me run back. And now we'll turn around and run back. You notice something strange about the wall to the west. If you search the wall, you may discover more. I have to like click on the wall? To the west, right? North, west, north, south, east, west. And I can see it on the map. I can quite literally see that there's something right here. Notice something strange. If you search the wall, you may discover more. You notice something strange about the wall to the west. If you search the wall, you may discover more. Maybe I don't... I don't know if there's, like, dice that roll. And maybe that's why. Is the dice rolling and I can't see it because of that? Allows you to attempt to find exact location of hidden doors, traps, and other objects. Check DC... Above 20. Nothing. I know there's something there. Let me through. Yeah, I don't think it's letting me through. Oh, wait, what is this?
It's like little icons show up when you're close enough. You notice something strange about the wall to the west. Your hirelings if acute you senses the feel wall, a draft. You may discover more. Spot hidden. Hidden. You notice something strange about the wall to the west. If you search the wall, you may discover more. Um. I'm lost. Try again. Okay, if it doesn't work, I give up. I don't know. I've tried so many times. Kill the spy. What were those cultists up to? This bear a treasure chest glimmers Ooh. in the dark passage here. Though rusty, this long sword is still sharp. It's a slashing weapon, perfect for slicing through putrid zombie flesh that would resist puncturing or bludgeoning weapons. Ah, I see. There's a door right here. Aten's rest. There's a Sahuagan in here, performing Sahuagin. some kind of ritual. Oh. Come, dead son of Korthos, rise and do my. The altar glows with dark power, and the song continues. Kill, kill everyone in Korthos. Kill any who would help them. The Sahuagin were using this vile devourer altar to create undead. A magical crest appears from the destroyed altar. If you take it with you, it may be useful later. You continue to hear cultists about their evil work from further inside the crypt. Wait, so I have a pet and I have a gray wolf. What's the difference? Summon nature's ally. Uh, this allows you to summon one of the two uh, creatures, a gray wolf, or it will fight for you in a brief time, but you only have one summoned creature serving you at a time. Summoning another creature will return this one to home plane. But then we also have all wolf companion. Activate this ability to summon your wolf companion. Kind of confused what the difference between the two are, but other than one's a pet and it says pet and the other one's a gray wolf. But okay. French for the village must have sent them. At least they both fight for me. So that's cool. If you double click on these people too, it, it auto attacks for you, I think. Cultists. Take care to keep your own health up. Health is represented by the red bar. Another treasure chest. Perhaps the cultists brought it here. This heavy mace is a bludgeoning weapon, ideal for smashing apart skeletons. Their bones are resistant to puncturing or slashing weapons. There's another Sahuagin. It croaks. Crag Wolf Hayton, in life you served the light. But in death, <laughs> you shall that. serve the devourer. It's funny listening to the uh, voice acting. These devourer altars will create a blight of undead upon Corthos. Another crest drops out as you smash the altar. There might still be other altars elsewhere in this crypt. Destroy. Okay, we got one left, and then we also need to investigate the crypt. So we're getting there.
A magical barrier blocks the way, and behind it, another Sahuagin performs unholy rituals at a devourer altar. This barrier appears linked to three sockets in the wall. If you find the crest to those sockets, it may allow you passage. Ooh, copper. Okay. Well, there's a crest or a restoration area right here. Store hit points and spell points. Uh, yep. Good, rested. Okay, cool. Got our abilities back to prepare you. You may pre alter your spell preparations. Do I even have any other like spells to use yet? Spells. Technically, the only one I have so far is wait angle have i used this yet druid no way it didn't even put these wait no no you're kidding do i really have all of these abilities and it didn't put any of them I think that's spell not prepared. Wait, so how do you prepare them? Oh, prepared spell. Okay. 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 I see. We have three. So there's three prepared spells we can use. Um, very fire, I guess so that's two and we'll do entangle, right? What's charm charm animal. Hostile animal or will grant as a trusted friend and ally. Whoa. An additional save every 15 to 30 seconds. A successful will save neg negates this effect. Mindless targets cannot save, but the duration is halved. So I could charm animals to be friends with me, I guess. Gives plus 10 bonus on jump checks. Uh, positive energy conjunction that heals 1d2 plus 1 for a caster level. Long strider. Increase your base run by 15%. Magic fang. Maul. Pack deals a extra 2w the target and it applies bleeding effect that's without trace produce flame this is a common one right uh fire through a target yeah i think so but then can i also drag and drop it here Rams might your hands increase in size, granting plus two size bonus to strength and, da and damage, produce flame. Okay. I guess that's it for right now, right? This one doesn't require any, but it uses five spell points. Okay. And then I guess when this is over, it's over. And then you have to go to one of these to replenish it. Let me try resting one more time. Never mind, you wait 12 minutes. Okay. <laughs> All right, let's try going down this way then. Casting failed. Oh no. So, I'm not 100% like up on D&D, &D, 
But I, from my understanding, this game uses 3.5 D&D rules. So every time you're casting a spell, if, I, if I'm correct, you're technically rolling a dice to cast that spell. In the middle of this chamber, and it's not guaranteed that you'll actually altar. do it. By it, a Sahuagin rumbles. For generations, the human haters have forestalled us. Now the dead haters shall serve the devourer's slaves. There'll be the army to crush the Corthos resistance, cries the Sahuagin. The Sahuagin's plan must have been to use these devourer altars to animate every body in this crypt. But by your when the altar collapses, a third crest appears. It glows with cold magic. Search for the three crests and return them to a wall socket next to the magical shield. Okay. So we're headed back over to where we started, I guess. For this. Do I have to do something with these? Rest of the bat. Rest of the octopus. And then we also have crest of the snake. Turn them to the wall socket. So do I like drag and drop it? Ah, wait, no, that's wrong. <laughs> Hold on, Kiara. Oh, here we go. Octopus, snake, you and bat. You fit the last crest in place, and the magic shield dissipates. The Sahuagin inside spits out a venomous voice. These fools who would keep Corthos shall Casting be consumed by the Devourer. Looking down at a corpse on the altar, the Sahuagin says, And you, dead hero of hate and blood, shall be the Devourer's teeth. I missed. Summon my wolf again. Altar of the Devourer. Destroy it. Destroy it now. Bold action saved Corthos and brought the Sahuagin's fell scheme to naught. The treasure chest in the antechamber is now yours. Let's open the chest. All right, let's loot all. Got some gold pieces. Thieves tools, the other items. Destroy the final altar after that's completed. So finish. Venture is complete. Do you want to recall now? Yes. Recalling. Corthos Village. Okay, let's run back over. I was afraid you'd been hurt. Did you look into the crypt? What was in there? The Sahugan were resurrecting the Hatens, turning their bodies into undead minions. But don't worry, I put a stop to it. Oh, how horrible. But what about... Did you find Lars Hayton? Was he... You didn't find a trace of him down there, so he could still be alive. Oh, Cassus, you've done a world of good. You're welcome, ma'am. You are welcome. Amulet of Inner Focus or Amulet of Brute? What is the... Uh, da, 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 da. Okay, neck. Provides plus one competence bonus to wearing concentration skill. Or minus one penalty to intelligence. Well, I'd rather take this one then. Double click on it, one item. 
Some of the braver villagers tried to stem the Sahuagan tide, but their courage led to naught but grievous injuries. Corthos needs someone with more than just guts. More than just guts. Okay. Find Balder the Bold and Linus Wheeler. Weir? Not Wheeler. Weir? Seductress Suck. Nice. Nice. Um. Okay. Well, that's going to be it for part two, everyone. Thank you guys for watching, as always. Uh, this game's still getting used to it, so I'm sorry if I'm a little bit confused here and there. But uh, it it's definitely has a, a learning curve to the gameplay of it. But for now, um, that's going to be it. Thank you for watching. Thanks for uh, checking out the video. I appreciate it, as always. If you guys did enjoy it, definitely leave a like on the video. Subscribe for more, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.